Hi, hello there and uh, welcome to my course. In this course I'm going to teach you how to build your first Android app from scratch using a popular UI toolkit called uh, Jetpack Compose. I know that uh, lots of you have been waiting for this moment, a moment when uh, Jetpack Compose became stable. And uh, now is the right time to be an Android developer. With uh, Jetpack Compose, uh, building Android apps is uh, going to be exciting, fun and a lot simpler than before. We are not going to need uh, XML anymore. Instead, we are going to build our UI with a regular Kotlin file using the full power of a Kotlin programming language. Also, creating a custom UI component has never been easier. So uh, you want to build a custom UI component, no problem. Just uh, start uh, by adding a simple function annotated with a composable annotation. And of course, uh, how would this course uh, look like without a real project? So our to-do application, which we are going to develop in this course, will have a single activity and zero fragments. Sounds impossible? Well, it isn't. So uh, better get used to it, because uh, that will greatly simplify the process of uh, developing Android apps. Now, at the beginning of this course, I'm going to introduce you with uh, Jetpack Compose in general, and uh, with some of the most important concepts as well. You will learn uh, everything about the life cycle of a single composable, and uh, how Compose uh, compiler is doing uh, all the hard work for you behind the scenes. Now, in this course, uh, we are going to use uh, some of the most important uh, Android architecture components like uh, room database to save and uh, read the data from a local database plus uh, we're going to write some uh, custom SQL queries as well then we have a compose navigation so we can navigate between our uh, screen composables and uh, at the end of this course uh, you will also learn how to add some uh, beautiful transition animations as well next uh, we have a view model uh, which will contain uh, all the logic needed to work with our app then uh, we have a preference data store to persist a, a simple key and value pairs and uh, you will learn about a popular dependency injection library called uh, Dagger Hilt. You will see how to inject a uh, view model with uh, different dependencies without needing to create a uh, view model factory. So by default uh, our application will support uh, dark mode as well and uh, you will learn how easy it is to have uh, two different themes of your app with uh, Jetpack Compose. Also you will learn how to build your own uh, custom UI components and uh, we will use uh, some of the most important material components along with the scaffold which is an amazing uh, composable function that uh, uses a slots API to place uh, all your UI components in the place they belong by the rules of material design documentation. Now uh, to do application on which we are going to work on will have an animated splash screen as some other components in our app as well. Also an animated swipe to delete functionality which will allow us to easily remove an item from the list and along with that we will add a safety feature called undo deleted item which will display a snack bar whenever we delete an item from the list. So uh, we can get it back just by one click. Now uh, you will learn uh, plenty of other things uh, related to the new way of developing Android apps. And uh, finally, this course uh, will be constantly updated with the new videos whenever needed. So whenever we find a bug in our application, then I'm going to record a video about it and uh, we are going to fix that together. Plus, uh, you will be in contact with me throughout this whole course and uh, you can always ask me a question related to this uh, course and even suggest some uh, code cleanup for the project if you are uh, skilled enough to find it. Overall, this is going to be quite a journey. So what are you waiting for my friend? Let's start learning.